Devastation as WA's youth justice crisis sinks to a new low. Family and friends in shock after the attempted suicide of a 16-year-old boy inside Unit 18 in the early hours of the morning. I'm with a family right now and they are absolutely distressed and horrified and they are so hurt. Guards doing routine checks found the teenager unresponsive in his cell. They resuscitated him and rushed him to hospital. This is an incredibly sad situation and we're all very distressed about it. What it says is that we need to do better. After years of riots, destruction and kids locked in their cells for up to 23 hours a day, WA's youth justice system has been mired in turmoil, with governments struggling to tackle the problem. This year, there have been 12 attempted suicides and serious self-harm incidents at Unit 18. At Bankshire Hill, which houses four times as many detainees, there were 15 attempted suicides and serious self-harm incidents. Unit 18 was supposed to be temporary, due to be shut down in the first half of this year. But the government has scrapped that plan, claiming it has no other option to house its most difficult young detainees. We don't accept that Unit 18 meets our standards for care and, um, and safety, but it's, uh, it's a necessary evil at the moment while we continue to go about developing the plans for the new infrastructure and reconfiguring the services and the model of care. To call it a necessary evil is outlandish. It is wrong, it is disgraceful, it is a disgusting comment. And he should be ashamed of himself. We're talking about a 16 year old boy. The government says the incident will be investigated, but that the suicide attempt was not a sign Unit 18 was failing. James Carmody, ABC News.